what today's video is guys i hope you guys are excited i don't i don't know why i do that i don't know why i always go guess what today's video is as if you guys didn't see and read the title in the thumbnail okay you guys know what today is it is my annual 24 hour reading challenge that's right another one has came and it is time and this time this time I'm going to succeed because let me explain something to you guys. It is 7.33 a.m. right now, okay? Here is what I've done differently. I am going to go all out for this one. I am going to succeed. I'm going to do this successfully because guess what? Today's weekday. Today's Monday. I usually do these on weekends. I decided to do this on a weekday. Today is a very rainy day here in Indiana. Very muggy, very thunderstorm, very gloomy. Okay, it's giving twilight. It's giving Forks Washington. It's giving Edward Cullen and Bella Swan. Why did I forget her last name for a second? Don't ask. So what I've done differently is that I downloaded audiobooks. I downloaded audiobooks. I usually don't do audiobooks, but I figured out that it is the freaking key, okay? Because I have to go to the gym. I have to be in the car. I have to work a little bit. I help out my boyfriend with his business. And I was like, how's this going to work? Boom, Destiny audiobook. And then I get home. We're going to read our actual physical books on my TBR. And we're going to stay up all night. I got a Red Bull. We're going to drink a freaking Red Bull later. It's the watermelon one. One of my freaking faves. Like, and we're gonna pull an all-nighter and then we are going to do this thing we're gonna do it right now i'm about to go to the gym so i'm about to put on my gym clothes and we're gonna listen to the freaking audiobook in the car while i'm working out in the car again coming home while i'm getting ready for the day and then we're gonna listen to it while i'm working so you're like destiny what audiobook did you download queen i'll tell you so if you guys didn't know i'm actually trying to read the rest of the devil's night series by, by penelope douglas i'm listening i'm gonna be listening to hideaway which says it's 14 hours and 49 minutes i'm gonna put it on the like more hurried up speed because i don't i mean it is they are thick books so i can see why it's 14 hours but still and the funny thing is is i've been seeing so many tiktoks about the devil's night series penelope douglas and just how they are so sporadic like and they are just all over the place and like what's going on so i think they're going to be more funny because spoiler alert i wrote i wrote punk 57 this month i did i wrote it i read punk 57 this month already and i have some strong feelings towards it look forward to my wrap up in my live stream to hear about that also i need to freaking do my end with this live stream like i just haven't found the time to do it and i need to do it we have some big plans for today so i'm gonna get ready to go to the gym and then we're gonna start the timer when i'm in the car because we're gonna admit this is my audiobook this is a really big bird moment for me okay there's so many bunnies there's so many bunnies outside literally is that a cat Okay, we'll mess with the speed. We'll put it at 2x speed. Now. Narrated by Jeremy York and Tatiana Sokolov. Oh, that's way too fast. The temptation is to yield to it. Okay. Robert Louis Stevenson. This was the official start of the 24 hour readathon. I was listening to Hideaway. I went to the gym, and this was honestly such a unique experience for me. I usually listen to music at the gym or a podcast, and listening to this book especially was just so weird in a way but also it kept me away from my phone like I just put my phone in a cubby and wasn't really focused on going on it in between sets which was really refreshing and also on the treadmill it kept me very very entertained and then it was time to leave the gym I had a few errands to run so I was listening to it in the drive through just driving around listening to this which is kind of like listening to a podcast so I was vibing with it I listened to it while I was eating breakfast guys I'm telling you I just did it all day and then this is actually just a clip of me 
doing a little bit of work in the day, helping out my boyfriend with his business, which I was also listening to the book and it helped the time go by so fast. I'm not even joking. I was like, how is time moving this quickly? And then it was time to go back home. I'm checking in with you guys. It has been five hours and 38 minutes so far. And it's been pretty good because I have gotten everything that I need to get done for the day. I went to the gym, I got all the work done. And so really the rest of the day is just going to be spent going through these books. Currently where we stand with Hideaway, we have four hours, two minutes, seven seconds left because I'm playing it on 1.7 fast speed. So it's going by quicker. So I would say we're about 50% through the book and it is interesting. Penelope Douglas's books are just always interesting, especially the Devil's Night series because it's all the same characters and all of the same books. And it's just like, they're not morally gray. They just have no morals. To me, they're not necessarily good, but they're so entertaining because you're like this would never happen like i'm sorry living in a small town where the cops just turn their cheek to four high school seniors that like to walk around in masks and do completely non-moral things and the teachers just let kids drink in the middle of the day at school like it's just so unrealistic and the stuff always cringes me out like i genuinely don't think penelope douglas's books are for me to love and enjoy like think about her books they're literally just like laughter for me like entertainment so listening to this book has been a super unique experience for sure. The thing that I think is going to start like tripping me up is that I'm my head since I've been listening to it and listening to a book is such a different experience from reading a book because I feel like I always picture what's happening like when I'm listening to an audiobook way better than when I'm reading it. I don't know if it's because like someone else is reading it to me so I'm like picturing it. I'm just like so into this book that I'm about to start like a whole different book and I'm just like I feel like it's gonna take me a second. Like that jump. But the chapters in Penelope Douglas's books are so long like so long they even sped up. The chapters are like 30-40 minutes like on audiobook and I'm like oh. Part of me thinks, could I have gotten through this faster if I was just like reading the book? I don't know, but we're taking like a tiny, well, no, actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the rest of, which chapter am I on? I think I'm on chapter 13. Yes, I am. I'm going, there's literally only six minutes left in this chapter. I think I'm going to listen to the rest of chapter 13, and then we are going to pick out the actual book that I'm going to start reading. Okay guys, hey, it's like an hour later, but don't worry. I have some things to do, so I was just listening to um, the audiobook. But now I'm going to pick one of these books. What should I read? Okay, so I said what was on my radar was funny, you should ask, but I don't wanna pick that up right now. I don't really wanna pick up Good Girl, Bad Blood because I'm not in the mood for a mystery. I kind of want to start Twisted Hate because I just, want to get it over with so currently it we are we are six hours and 47 minutes in let's see this is a thicker book so let's see how long this takes us reading twisted hate was honestly something that i wasn't very much looking forward to also complete side note this clip just gives me so irritated for some reason because it's just back and forth back and forth but i just wasn't really looking forward to reading this one because i don't absolutely love the twisted series and i heard that this one wasn't the best out of them but i was just trying to remain focused this is like when something super frustrating happened in the book and i was just getting more and more mad and that's kind of what this book was it was more of like a i like you but we're gonna pretend like we don't like each other and those books just frustrate me the absolute most out of anything else that i read and this was just me kind of already low-key getting tired of it. I was like, should I keep on going with this video? But I already had too much time invested. So I was like, yes, Destiny, you have to keep going. <sighs> oh my gosh. Somehow, uh, it's hours later. It's really 7.30 right now. We're 11 hours and 31 minutes into this video. And I officially finished the first book. It's just weird because... 
I was like listening to audiobook for a huge portion of this and then I started this book I actually took a nap like in between which it was only like 30 40 ish minutes but then I just kind of like laid in bed and contemplated my life and like where all of my life choices have brought me and how like you guys know and it just took me a while to finish this book but I freaking finished it <laughs> I finished it guys I have to say that how do I care more about Stella and Christian than I did about Josh and Jules and Stella and Christian was like hinted at it wasn't even really like you know so how am I more excited to read their book than this I don't know didn't love it I don't have an official rating for this yet because like I said I stopped rating books as soon as I read them because that's just nothing good for you so yeah we're 11 hours in feeling good it's 7 30 I'm like what book should we start next I don't know Hi guys, um, just go ahead and put the freaking clown emoji over my face because I just was talking to the camera and it wasn't even freaking recording, okay. What I was saying was that we're 12 hours in now so we're reaching the official halfway mark which is weird for it to be 8 o'clock. No, it's not because I literally started this at 8. But I'm saying it's weird because in all of my other videos, it's like not 12 hours until like 2 a.m. So we're on a good track right now. I was saying that I wasted 30 minutes because I was making a TikTok about my dog, Charlie. If you guys didn't know, she's a queen. I was making a TikTok about her and cried over it. <laughs> so I was just laying in my bed crying, hugging my dog. And it was too Marley in the audio. And I was trying to get myself together. It's probably a good thing that I wasn't recording a, two, a few tears did slip. I think the next book that I'm going to read, I'm going to finally force myself to read Good Good Girl, Bad Blood. Good Girl, Bad Blood. We're just going to do it, okay? Because it's been sitting on my physical TBR since like January. Yes, I'm pretty sure I bought this in January and I just need to do it. I This is going to be me breaking my mystery slash thriller. So I haven't read one in such a freaking long time. So looks like we're going to read this one. This is going to be our next read. Let's see if I can put myself in the whole like mystery thriller mood. I don't even know what this one's about and I'm not going to find out. We're just going to read it. But I think dinner's ready. So I'm going to go downstairs and eat first. And I'll probably listen to hideaway while I eat. This is exactly where things in this video started getting so hard because as you guys may or may not know, I go to sleep fairly early. I'm a very early riser and I go to sleep very early as well. So I, the whole entire thing about staying up all night is already a hard thing for me and it was starting to get late. You can't tell by the light outside, but further into these clips, you're going to be able to tell that it just started getting darker and darker and that caused my eyelids to just get heavier and heavier. Also, it's not like I was really in the mood for a mystery, so that was also getting hard to grasp my attention and I was just getting so tired. Like these clips are literally just my yawns because I was so freaking tired, but I was like, you know what, I you have to push through because at this point I was like do I even need to stay up all night and then I was like yes destiny you do this is how you had the video planned out and you need to keep going but y'all it was so hard hey guys I am on page 94 of good girl bad blood or good Yes, good girl, bad blood. It's 9.35. We are 13 hours and 40 minutes in. Guys, I don't know if you guys took me seriously at the beginning of this video when I said that I am serious about this this time and that I want to be successful in it, but I am. But anyway, let's talk about this book thus far. It was a little rocky for me at first because it picks up kind of, well, not kind of, it picks up right where... Um, a good girl's guide to murder ended off and i read that in november of 2021 and so it's been a while it's been a while it's been some months it's been like eight months <laughs> i don't know if that math is correct but and so like some like characters and some details were a little like spotty with me but now we're kind of getting rocking and rolling in this now we kind of get what the whole mystery of this is and I love that this is YA like I really like more like YA thrillers because 
they're super easy and also i do you remember liking the first book because it's always like entertaining because there's always like so many different leads and stuff i'm excited to see where this plot goes as the plot thickens so yeah that's about it for my updates right now this is the point in the video where i show you guys just the clips of my yawns literally just me trying to record b-roll and just yawning because i was so tired i forget what time in the morning it was i don't even know if it was that late but i was just so tired so i literally started falling asleep like this is me reading and i was straight up falling asleep in the book like i just could not stay awake for anything i was so tired i was like is it even worth it honestly to stay up all night should i just fail one more time so you guys are probably like okay destiny so this is the point in the video where you tell us that you failed and you woke up the next morning and you're like, listen, this is what happened just like all the other videos. And this is the part where I would tell you that I'm disappointed and how much, well, actually how little faith that you guys have in me because I did not go to sleep. Instead, I persevered. <sighs> okay, guys, I am starting to fall asleep like starting to get so tired and i feel like i have exhausted all options and i only have one more thing that i can do to make this a successful 24-hour reading challenge yeah yeah we gotta pull out the big guns we are drinking a red bull the red edition the watermelon one gotta do it these if you guys haven't watched my pulling an all-nighter i pulled an all-nighter to finish my tbr like a month ago was that in april or was that for may i think it was for april i drank a red bull this is a watermelon one this used to be like my favorite red bull <sighs> oh okay okay I would say I'm on chapter 16 of Good Girl Bad Blood right now. I, I literally don't know how far in I am. And I'm sipping, sipping on a Red Bull. The thing is, is that I definitely am not gonna drink all of it because I get super anxious when I have like actual caffeine, like coffee and energy drinks. It makes me extremely anxious and extremely sick. So I'm not gonna drink all of it, but just enough to for it to work basically. But anyway, back to my, back to this book. It looks so bad without the sleeve on it. It looks so bad without the sleeve on it. But I'm on chapter 16 and I just wanted to say that I have absolutely no theories. I'm just vibing. Literally no theories, just vibes. Here are my few updates. I am on page 202. And I definitely think that this one is better than um, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It's not like you just dive back in. Like, obviously, it's a completely different thing that she's, like, investigating. So, you have to, like, build up all the evidence and stuff. But to me, this one is just more interesting because the base is already there because she's already done this before. But miss girl is like manipulating her teacher like straight up manipulating this man and is like oh well i would hate for somebody to find out this and i'm like girl leave this poor man alone leave this poor man alone guys i haven't finished the book yet i have like this much left but i freaking guessed it i swear i guessed it because it just felt so obvious like in the realm of like new things like this is me trying to say it without spoiling it like, new things introduced like that just stuck out to me and i was like okay why is that a thing like why are why is that such a main thing that we keep coming back to and I was right. Uh, well, I don't know if I was completely right. I was kind of partially right. Hi, everybody. I have to put the sleeve back on this. I just finished... Why was I about to say Good Girl's Guide to Murder? Why can't I put the sleeve back on? I just finished Good Girl, Bad Blood. This was good. I, th I This one, to me, was better than a good girl's guide to murder i don't know why maybe it was because like most of the characters were already established the ending i think sets up really good for the last book which is good girl what is it 
as good as dead i think yes i have it and it's thicker than the other two this one i think she gets like stalked or something i don't know but now i want to read that one next month which is so interesting because i was low-key not like dreading it but like i just haven't been in the mood to read like a mystery like this and i'm super proud of myself because this was one of the books at the beginning of the month where i was like yeah i don't really know if i'm gonna get to it because i just don't know if i'm gonna be in the mood because you have to be in like the mood and mindset to be in a mystery but i did I did a low key. I did a low key guess. Involvements and things like that. What I like about Holly Jackson's, like, well, this series. I don't know. Anyway, what I like about Holly. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me. What I like about this series is that it's always more than one plot twist. Like, there's always, like, a bunch of things that you're unraveling to this huge thing. So, I always really enjoy that. I'm 18 hours and 11 minutes in. Guys, I'm really freaking doing it this time. Second book finished. Second book finished. So, here's my game plan. So, what I think I'm going to do is get my Kindle and I'm going to finish Hideaway on my Kindle because I'm pretty sure there's 31 chapters and I'm on like chapter 20. I think I'm just going to like wrap up that book really quick so that we already have that one finished. I honestly, I have a really ambitious TBR this month and I made a good chunk through, but I don't know if I can read the whole entire Devil's Night series. I just... I don't necessarily like it like it's not like I love to read it so I don't know if I'll even finish that series because I just don't root for them you know like it's hard for me to read a book and especially a series of very thick books if you just don't like the characters like you just find them kind of insufferable but I'm gonna read the rest of Hideaway guess what guys it's 3 13 right now I'm not doing that again I am 19 hours and 17 minutes into this. Guys, I am hashtag killing it right now if I do say so myself. I just finished Hideaway and gave it two stars. <laughs> I don't want to continue. I literally can't continue with the Devil's Night series right now. I honestly don't even know if I will continue with the Devil's Night series. It's so weird because I, what did I read? Twisted Hay, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And then I just finished Hideaway, which majority of it was audiobook. But I'm like, what type of book do I want to read now? Like, do I want to jump back into romance? Do I want to do that? I definitely want to do a book that I could finish i mean we could read fixer up like it's just a cute little probably easy fast read i'm going to decide what book i want to read hold on honestly at this point it was starting to get into the early hours of the morning and i could literally see the finish line and i just randomly picked up fixer up because i wanted to read a love letter to whiskey i actually tried to but i just couldn't get into that book to save my life and this is me having such a bad headache probably because I was literally staying up all night and I didn't want to I could not even focus on words on a page at this point and so I decided let's get up and let's make some coffee so this is me like you know what I need just to feel the fresh air I need to go outside with my coffee and try to finish this freaking challenge hello guys it is morning well it's been morning for a long time since i since it was like you know 3 a.m 1 a.m etc but it is currently it is 6 32 right now i've been doing this for 22 hours and 37 minutes we're in the home stretch but guys i'm freaking doing it those of you who thought i wasn't gonna do it i'm doing it I look so bad right now. This is what no sleep looks like. Also, it's super freaking muggy outside, but this is what no sleep looks like. I've been up for 24 hours because this is the time that I woke up yesterday. I'm reading Fix Her Up because I think I said it in the voiceover, but I was trying so hard for such a long time to read a love letter to Whiskey. I don't know if it was just because that's when I kind of started hitting a wall and got tired or it was just like i couldn't get through it awesome charlie's just taking a big old dump right in front of my face like just right there like i'm just front row seat to her taking a big old crap kind of wanted to come outside see a little bit of the sunrise made myself a coffee that i'm definitely not going to drink all of 
but here we are. If I can say that I read four books and I did the whole entire 24 hours straight, I'm a force to be reckoned with. And all of you guys who've always commented on these videos be like, oh my god, Dusty's never gonna do this successfully. Oh my god, I love watching you fail. I do appreciate that you guys are so loving and easy with me and how I can't complete this challenge, but I'm going to. This is the home stretch, people. I'm telling you guys, the only thing keeping me going at this point was genuinely the excitement of knowing that I was finally going to successfully finish a freaking 24 hour readathon video. I wanted to prove everyone wrong that ever doubted me. So that was the only thing fueling me. Okay, so you guys don't know how freaking happy I was when I checked the timer and saw that it said that I only had a little bit of time left. Like this, just, I couldn't believe it. I did it. <laughs> This this is I'm going to do a dance party for you guys. First of all, I want to thank me for believing in me and getting me to where I am today. Um, it's hot in here now. I can't turn on my fan though because it's going to be really loud. I also really want to thank all of you guys for coming along in this journey with me. And I also want to thank all my haters that didn't think that I would make it here because I just successfully finished a 24 hour readathon vlog. Stayed up all night and I finished four books because I actually finished Fix Her Up. Mm -hmm. Finished it. It was really quick and easy. It's not that long either. So it was just super simple. I read four books and finished this 24 hour readathon. I know that you guys didn't think that this day would come. I didn't, I didn't think that this day would come either, but it's here and I finished it and I'm so freaking happy that was charlie charlie was along with me for this whole entire ordeal she had to deal with it all night i may be running on no sleep and i did it okay and i keep on saying it because i know that you guys can't believe it this was my mount everest and i climbed it where do we go from here 48 hours i'm just kidding i literally just conquered the 24 and i'm like now why don't we do this for another 24 i think I'm good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys found it a little bit enjoyable. And if you did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all the YouTube stuff that I'm sure you guys know how to do by now. With that being said, I have gotten no sleep and my day has to start. So I will see you guys when I see ya. Peace.